Hello, dear students, teachers, parents, and all those who are listening to this video. I got many queries from, especially from class 9 and 10 students and their parents on what is the difference between basic maths and standard maths. So, you know, the CBSC in 2020 re, uh, realized that every student is not very keen to do maths. And there may be uh, a few students who want to go for medical. They want Some students want to go for humanities where maths is not required. So in 2020, the CBC has given two options for class 10 students to choose basic or standard maths. There is no option given in class 9. So in class 9, if you're good in maths and you want to pursue maths as a career option, there are certain careers which requires mathematics as a core subject then definitely you should choose standard maths. So if you want to go for engineering, you should not take basic maths. You should take standard maths. There are many, many courses who will be asking maths as a core subject. Then definitely you have to take standard maths. But if you think that maths is not your cup of tea and you want to get rid of maths after class 10, unfortunately, CBC is not giving any option as of now to drop mathematics. It's a compulsory subject. But if you think that you are not having an aptitude for maths and you want to drop maths in class 11 and 12 higher secondary stage, then you should take basic maths. Now, whether you take basic maths or standard maths, please remember the syllabus for both is same. Okay, the examination is different. The question paper is different. The books are same. The course curriculum is same. So the option to pick is yours, the student. The school is not going to decide for you. Your parents should not decide for you. You yourself have this power to decide this. Okay, so you can take help of your parents. Definitely, you can take help of your teachers in understanding your limitations and your aptitude. But you yourself have to make a choice because your whole career depends on this choice. Okay, so one thing is clear that you have to choose either basic or standard depending on what you want to do later in life. Remember, the syllabus is prescribed the same. So the teaching uh, methodology in the classes will be same. The same curriculum will be followed, except for the fact that there will be two question papers. One will be the tougher question paper, which is for those students who are opting for standard maths. And the easier one will be for those who are taking basic maths. Okay. Then uh, the standard maths obviously will have more of competency based questions case studies will be much tougher as compared to the basic level. So the difficulty level is going to be higher and the basic paper will be slightly easier as compared to the uh, standard paper. So those who are opting for basic, if you're doing the textbook, that is good enough. And you know that in the past, if you're doing standard papers as in the uh, this year or last year, if you see, there are many questions which come outside the textbook. 20% about questions are coming outside the textbook for which you will have to go beyond the textbook. They may not be directly lifted, lifted from the textbook. So that is why it is important that you think carefully before making a choice whether you want to do basic or standard maths. Okay. So uh, one very important thing that you have to remember is that why was this whole uh, concept of basic and standard introduced? Because earlier what was happening, the maths was only one level standard and many students could not clear maths and their whole career got stopped because they were not able to pass class 10. So the CBC decided that there should be an opportunity for those students also to pursue higher studies. Otherwise, you know, the education stopped. So this is an opportunity for those who do not like maths, who want to move from maths to other subjects. You take basic maths and you can do other subjects in class 11. So it's actually reducing the burden of the students. CBC has taken this decision in 2019 that from 2020, there will be two levels of math mathematics to reduce the pressure on the students. But in spite of giving this choice, I have seen many, many weak students of mathematics taking standard and then struggling and having mental stress during the examinations. So please make sure of making the right choices so that you remain stress-free and you are able to enjoy mathematics, right? But remember, with basic maths, you cannot pursue mathematics in class 11 and 12. If you want to pursue mathematics in class 11 and 12, then you need to 
opt for standard maths. So if you have already made that decision that you are going to do basic or standard, then no problem. But there are some students who make this mistake of choosing basic maths. If you're taking standard maths, then the option to drop or continue with maths or to drop maths is with you. In 11th, you have a choice whether to take it or not. But if you're taking basic maths, definitely you cannot opt for maths. And then at the end of the year, you realize that you want to do maths. So CBSE has also made a provision in that case that in case you have opted for basic and you want to do maths in class 11 and 12, then the CBSE is saying that you have to give the standard exam in the compartment. Okay, so you have cleared in basic, you've done well, and you think that you are capable of doing maths in class 11 and 12, then the CBSE still gives you an option that you can give the standard maths exam along with the compartment exam. So this is the circular uh, which was circulated by CBSE. Uh, it's very evident from this about the two levels. So the two levels, as I told you, is from 2020. It was uh, introduced the first time. Okay. And its second line says there will be no two levels uh, for class nine. Many teachers and many students come and ask me that, what about class nine? Class nine, there are no two levels. It is only one exam. That is the standard. There is no basic and standard at that point of time. The choice of choosing that whether you are going to take basic or standard is only given to class 10 students, right? And another thing that is important for us is that those who are choosing for basic and who are keen to do mathematical related courses, you cannot do it. So think carefully because as I said, this is uh, your career will depend on your choice. So if you think that you want to go for maths related courses at higher levels, uh, then you need to check the courses which you plan to do. You know, you have to check that you want to go for law or hotel management. Do I require maths in those areas? If you require maths, then you have to take standard maths. Okay. And uh, uh, once you make a choice, it's very difficult to change it. Because when you are submitting the list of candidates in class 9 and class 10, when you're submitting it, then uh, CBC will, you know, already feed in all the details of the students of what they are taking. And then if you want to change, then sometimes the option is given to change and sometimes it is not. So make sure that all the class 10 students who are opting for basic or standard, think carefully, discuss with their families, do an introspection. If you think that you want to pursue maths, then take standard maths. If you think that you want to drop maths and you want to go for other subjects besides mathematics, then do standard maths. So I hope this uh, video will bring in a lot more clarity in knowing the difference between the two. Thank you.